Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to build one of these, a vacuum cleaner nozzle. Let's get started. Today, I had some flooding in my basement. I went and got the shop vac, but unfortunately, I could not find for the life of me the nozzles that came with the vacuum. Since I couldn't find them, I just decided I'd make my own. Maybe you keep better track of your attachments than I do. Still, if you had something like a router or a table saw or something along that line that needed a dust collector and you needed to make a custom nozzle for your vacuum, the same principles that we're going to talk about here would apply. We'll use the Fusion 360. It has a free license for non-commercial use. We'll use that to design. Then we'll take that design and we'll run it through a 3D printer and we'll end up with something that looks just like this. There are lots and lots and lots of videos on YouTube on how to do 3D printing and slicing and things like that. So we're not going to go into it. Basically, I just want to show how you go from a couple of really simple diagrams or really simple drawings and turn those into this type of a shape. It's a little bit different than the typical 2D drawing that you extrude out. Here's the nozzle from the vacuum. What we need to do is measure this area up here for the taper. You'll notice it's a little bit narrower up here than it is down at the further down. What we need to do is measure here at the end, find out what the smallest diameter is. It looks like it's about 1.21 to 1.22 inches. Once we have that, We'll measure about an inch and a half down and find out what the large end of our nozzle opening needs to be. So now we just need to make a taper that goes from this smaller area to the larger area and has an interference fit to provide a seal. The important part is that it doesn't bottom out there on that piece. And this end needs to be sealing up here so that when we slide it on, it goes in and fits nice and tight. Let's go over to Fusion and design this. We'll start our design at the narrow end of the tube adapter. We need a circle that is smaller than the small end of our tube. And then we want to make it the thickness of our wall. So we'll go an eighth of an inch thick. So we'll just offset that circle by an eighth of an inch. Next, we create an offset plane from here to the other end of the adapter. So we'll go an inch and a half up for that. Then we'll create a sketch on that offset plane. On this new sketch, we'll just create a new circle with the larger size for the adapter. Make sure that the center is above the center on the other circle and then do an offset again for an eighth of an inch. Once we've drawn both ends, we're going to use the loft function and loft from these outer rings, and that'll create a solid. Then all we have to do is select the inner circles, do a loft again, this time with a cut, and it'll make it hollow. And there we've got our base for our adapter. Now that we've created the component that hooks onto the hose, we need to do the other end. Since my attachment needs to effectively have an opening that is 90 degrees to our adapter, we'll create a plane at a tangent, and then we'll offset another one a quarter of an inch down from that. On this plane that is 90 degrees to that tangent, we're just going to draw basically the face of the opening. So the actual opening in it, and then the outside edge as well. We want to make sure that this box is centered on that tangent line so that the opening is effectively centered on the hose. All right, now here's the coolest part of Fusion. We're going to take this drawing that is 90 degrees off and attach it. So you have to make sure you're in 3D drawing 
And then we're going to just draw some guidelines from where we think the body should attach. We're going to go from the lower corners to the side of the body. And then kind of the, I guess what we would call the upper corners or the far corners. We want those to go to the top of the adapter. Then the bottom to the bottom. And then the center of the opening to the center of the opening on the adapter. I'll rotate this around a little bit in 3D here so you can see it. But basically what we've done is we've kind of created a wireframe of where we want the body to be. And now it's time for a little bit of the magic of Fusion. We're going to select these two like we did with the adapter and then loft between them. And that makes this nozzle a solid object. So there's our overall shape of what we want. Now we go back and we select the inside of the nozzle and then the inside of the adapter. And then we do another loft operation, this time with a cut, and it'll empty that out. And there we go. It's created the nozzle for us. Let me shut off the sketches so you can see it a little clearer. That's all there is to it. You could actually sketch one of these things up in probably a half hour with a little bit of practice. Now all we have to do, take this guy over, slice it in our slicer, and send it to the 3D printer. Thanks for watching.